Good morning, Spartans. This is the second part of the bouncing beach ball that we started yesterday. And uh, first part, as you know, shows you the entire animation, all parts of the beach ball. Um, let's see. Let me look for my library here. And there it is. Got four different symbols. Right now, what we have is ball two, ball one, which I grouped. Um, remember how you group it? Just add a new folder right here, and then just drop those two layers inside that. All right, here's ball two, shadow layer. I'm going to also add a folder. Um, actually, that's a layer. We had a folder. There's a folder. I'll put shadow two in there, ball two in there. Okay, so there's ball two, and there's ball one. Now, um, I am gonna open this one back up, just so you can see the layers. I'm also gonna open up this one so you can see the the timeline. Here's what you have to understand about this. The length of the timeline is the same. You can see how it stops at 68 for both of them, right? The difference is the smaller ball bounces one, two, three, and four times for every one time for this larger ball. Where does the bounce occur on the timeline? Well, look at look at the the keyframes. You see a cluster of keyframes, right where it bounces, three in a row, in fact, right here too. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a new layer, two of them, in fact. This one will be shadow, and this one will be ball three. Okay, same. Length just automatically adds the entire length of the of the animation all the way up to 68 frames. Now I'm gonna go to key, I'm gonna go to frame one. I'm gonna go into my library and drag out a new ball. Makes sense to put it right here, right? There it is. I could put it um, closer, right? I could do that. I'm gonna change its tint. You know, do whatever you want, as long as it's different. And I'm actually going to make it smaller. Uh, actually, I'll make it bigger this time. Yeah, there it is. Now, you want to change those properties before you do any of the keyframing, right? Makes sense? You wouldn't want to change it all of a sudden right after you're done, because then you got to change all the different keyframes. Now, I'm going to bounce it twice. Twice. Remember, the smaller one is four times. The bigger one is one time. So I can do it anywhere I want. The, diff the, the thing what you have to understand is that instance, if I were to play my movie, okay, it's, it's an instance. Remember what we did. We went inside that ball and we animated inside of it. We added the, the shade, we added the detailing of the beach ball, and we rotated it. So all that remains the same. The only thing we got to do is bounce it. That occurs on the main timeline, right? Scene one. It's called scene one. I don't need to go inside. It's all done. Notice that? It's all done. All right. So I'm going to bounce it. Let's see. It's, I'm going to bounce it two times. I'm going to bounce it at 20. I'm going to do F6. F6. Oh, gosh. I'm, in the, I'm using an Apple right now. Let's see. F. Um, shoot. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, convert to keyframe. Okay. There it is. Probably have to hold down some special key. Okay. Okay, so how high am I going to go? I'm going to go right here. Okay. Perfect. Um, 20. And then I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to hold down Alt and drag that over to 40. Remember, it's the... Eh, maybe I'll go to 34. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and tween it, 
Create a classic tween. There it is. Okay, very good. Now, right when it drops there, I'm going to do F6 again. And I'm going to compress it, right? Compress it just a little bit. I'm going to do F6 again. Let's see, do I want F6 again? Let's see. Let's see. No, so what I do is I copy this one over here, right? So I'm going to go ahead and hold that down and drag it. Actually, I'm going to undo that. Undo, undo, undo. Don't do that. Here's why. It's done. It's done. This is done. What the only difference is, I'm going to copy all this, all this. So I'm going to hold down Alt and drag it down. That's it. Now, it did go a little bit farther than I wanted, so what I'm going to do is just drag this over a little bit. Okay, one, in fact, one place over. No, how about two places over? There we go. Good. And then I just hold this down and uh, remove frames. Okay. So there it is. Two times. Now, shadow. Same way. I'm going to go in there, drop that shadow down right about there. Now, that shadow's too small for this ball. So what I'm going to do is go in there and make that adjustment. Okay, and it looks good. Okay, now the shadow has to be in the same spot as where uh, all the other keyframes are. So I'm going to do F6, F6, good. Um, we're going to lower the alpha, right? Lower the alpha. Where is it? I got to go fast because uh, you guys are going to be coming in soon. Alpha. Okay, then I'm going to come back here, I'm going to copy this one, I'm going to hold down Alt and drag it down, good, and then, uh, um, 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 yeah, F6 again, and then if you recall, we just did a slight compression, right, uh, not a compression, but a just a slight, uh, what do you call it, uh, 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 stretch. Now I'm just going to do a classic tween for both of them. Okay, so there it is. There, it loses its, its, um, I think what I have to do is also stretch this out just a touch. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so it gets up and it comes back down and then compresses. Bam. Perfect. So what do I do? Oh, you guys are coming in. I'm going to hold this down, hold down Alt and stretch it, or not stretch it, but move it. And just like before, I'm just gonna take these two and just move it over. And then I have to erase these. So that's it. That's it. Um, oh, the only difference is I gotta move that over. Good. Okay, you see how these all line up with the shadow? Don't forget. Okay, let's see what we got here. I kinda went fast, so hopefully, uh, hopefully it works. Oh, the only thing I didn't do is ease it. Remember that? Okay. So that's an easy one. So I will uh, ease out 100, 100, ease in 100. You should do that the first time, and that way when you copy it, you won't have to do it um, every single time like I have to. Remember, I just forgot that. Okay, let's look at it again. Control or Command. Better. Doesn't look great, but it looks okay. You could also adjust the. Uh, um, you can come in here and adjust its uh, rotational if you want. So, but in any case, that's how you do it. It's done. Thanks for watching. Hope you understood all of that. All right.